Hi, my name is Kieran Buckley, and this is my application video for the Courant Institute of Mathematics. When I was taking Real Analysis 1 at the beginning of my junior year, the professor, who is the chair of the math department and also an alumnus of the Courant Institute of Mathematics, was very eager to tell us about how excited he was over the accomplishments of his alma mater. Upon hearing his review of the school, I decided to look into it for myself. When doing so, I noticed the vast accomplishments of all of the faculty members there. I believe the Courant Institute of Mathematics is a valuable resource that would help me to greatly increase my experience and knowledge in the field of mathematics. The theorem I've chosen to talk about is the fundamental theorem of algebra, which simply states that a polynomial with complex coefficients has a zero somewhere in the complex plane. What drew me to this theorem isn't the statement itself but actually the way in which I learned to prove it, which requires knowledge of a number of other theorems and proofs, which are slightly more complicated. The first theorem we need to understand is Cauchy's theorem, which states that for two homotopic curves, gamma naught and gamma one, in a complex domain D, and a holomorphic function F, the integral over gamma zero, or gamma naught, of F is equal to the integral over gamma one of F. The theorem is proven as follows, by taking the definition of the homotopy H and properties of the integral to show that the rate of change of the integral of the holomorphic function over two homotopic curves is zero, and the integral over the two curves is therefore equal. This brings us to the Cauchy integral formula, which states that for a simple closed curve gamma in a complex domain D and a holomorphic function F, this equation holds. This theorem is proved by using the fundamental theorem of calculus and Cauchy's theorem to show that the difference of the two sides of the equation are equal to zero, and therefore the two sides are, in fact, equivalent. Once we understand these two theorems, we can use them to prove the fundamental theorem of algebra. This proof is a proof by contradiction, wherein we suppose that there is, in fact, a polynomial that has no zero solution in the complex plane. And then, we use Cauchy's theorem, the Cauchy integral formula, and this lemma here to prove that this would cause a contradiction in that 1 over the polynomial at the z value of 0 would go to 0, which would mean that the constant is infinite and is therefore a contradiction. What I find so interesting about this theorem and proof is the fact that such a simple and general theorem requires such extensive knowledge of more complicated theorems and proofs to fully comprehend. My interest in pure mathematics began when I first started taking proof-based mathematics courses as an undergraduate in college. Upon seeing how math really worked at the higher level, I became fascinated with it and determined that I wanted to do everything I could to expand my knowledge in the subject. I believe earning a PhD will allow me to focus all of my energy on doing just that. 